This is Dr. Susan Thrall. I'm going to demonstrate a cross-tab query using Query Design View as opposed to using the Query Wizard. Here is the query that we had previously created using the Query Wizard. If you recall, we had our cities as our row headers, whether the invoice was paid or unpaid as our column headers. And we also left in the total of invoice amount as one of the row headers. So I'm going to close this down. I'm going to go into Create. And this time, instead of choosing Query Wizard, I'm going to choose Query Design. In the Query Design, I have to choose which table I want to use to create the cross tab. And I'm going to the Query and use Customer and Invoices, which is what I used when I did the Query Wizard. Now, as our row headers and our column headers, we see these items up in the table. But how do we tell the computer we want a crosstab query? We go up to the ribbon and click Crosstab. Notice when we click that, a new row, the crosstab row, is added to our grid. So the first thing we're going to do is pull City onto the grid. Click in Crosstab and indicate to the computer that we want this as our row heading. Next, we had invoice paid, whether it was paid or not. In the crosstab row, we indicate that this is going to be the column heading. And lastly, invoice amount is going to be our value in this. Now, we have to indicate to the computer what we want to do with this value. So where it says group by, we drop that down and we say we want to sum it or average it or find the standard deviation, or find the max, or the min, or, and so on. Now, if you recall, what we did was we summed it, so we're going to choose sum. So what we're saying is in our cross tab, have city as the row heading, invoice paid as the column heading, and in the interior, sum up by value of invoice amount. That's all there is to it. We run the query, and we're getting the exact same screen as before, showing our cities as the row headers, and our column headers, those that are paid or unpaid. Notice the dummy column headers that we changed when we did that with the wizard. Now, what we are missing is the sum of all the invoices, and we can easily add that by going back to Design View, adding another column, so we want the sum of invoice amount. I add that here. I'm going to sum it up. So you can see that's going to be a sum. And this was a row header. So on the cross tab row, we choose it as a row header. And I run the query again. And notice this time I have the exact same, except for the dummy column headings, as what I received when I did the cross tab query through the wizard. So if you know how to use Design View, if you understand what a cross tab is and which columns you have to fill in, then it's much easier and much faster to do it in Design View. However, if you're new to this, certainly the query wizard is a lot easier for beginners to use.